Hey, good evening, everybody. Uh, another little side project I'm working on. Uh, this is a couple brackets that I've made up uh, for the bumper support on our travel trailer. And as everybody knows, the uh, two bumpers are very weakly welded uh, to the framework. They're not meant to uh, hold a lot of weight other than the spare tire. We plan on putting a bike rack on here as well and uh, just trying to beef up the uh, bumper a little bit to uh, prevent any problems. So what I've done is I have drilled three holes in the channel, as you can see there. And what I've got as well on my trailer is underneath where the black water tank is, there's a cross member that goes side to side that's got some holes in it. So I have made up this bracket here um, with uh, this plate on the end. This goes through the cross member uh, that holds the black water tank and this is a quarter inch thick about four inches wide six inches long and this is a piece of two by two uh, square tubing quarter inch wall that i had and as you can see it's got three holes in it to match the ones that i've drilled in the frame uh, back side here is a piece of three eighths thick three inches wide that's about nine inches long i've drilled a hole into it uh, this is for the passenger side, so this will allow me to put a ratchet strap from the uh, plate here uh, up to my bike rack, so uh, takes out any wobble and so forth. And then also on the underside, you can see I've welded on a little gusset, a gusset uh, plate here just to give a little extra strength to uh, keep it from wiggling back and forth. So. Anyways, uh, this is uh, part one of uh, my install. I just want to show you the brackets and uh, the next one that I post will be with the brackets installed. So again, it's a uh, quarter, quarter by four by six inches, uh, two inch square tube, a quarter inch wall, about 13 inches long. It will vary. Um, the passenger side bracket is about an eighth of an inch longer than the driver's side so make sure you measure both sides if uh, you're going to reproduce something like this and then uh, the tube the way i've got it is um, going to fit tight right up to the 4x4 four 14 four gauge tube that holds the sewer hose so it'll fit tight on the bottom and the back side and uh, you'll see uh, once it's installed how uh, well it fits together so Anyways, there's just two brackets I made up. Um, fortunately, I was able to do this myself. I've got uh, a pretty substantial Lincoln welder here, so, MIG welder, so uh, I was able to uh, weld the uh, heavy material without any problems. And also I've got a couple uh, chop saws and band saws and stuff for cutting out. So um, you may be able to find somebody in your neighborhood that's uh, maybe willing to uh, do a little welding for you, but uh, yeah, so here's the two brackets. Uh, next video I post will uh, show them in place and uh, you'll see how they all fit together. So thanks for watching.